in the last six months. That to me counts for more than anything and it makes it all worthwhile. Thanks, Ray. Another song from the back, please. <laughs> Hi, Ray. Um, you spoke earlier about agriculture and how it's a, an experiment in, still in progress. Uh, I think it's a very perceptive comment in terms of the, the energy that it has provided us with. Uh, and the same thing may apply to the way we use fossil fuels at the moment. Um, there may be other people in, in, in the room here today who feel that we're on the, the sort of the, the upslope of some sort of exponential growth curve. Um, and maybe about to run into some, some limits there in terms of environmental resources and easily available fossil fuels and that kind of thing. With the sort of problems that this might present to us, what do you think is the most important thing that we can do, given that we can't do everything? Oh, oh gosh, it's a complicated issue. You to agriculture that it's not all wrong, it's not all right, it's complicated. What I do think is interesting is to compare what we eat today to what we ate when we were hunter-gatherers. Our hunter-gatherer diet was a lot healthier. We ate far more bitter greens in our diet. We had a much more diverse diet. And I suspect, although I can't prove it, but I'm sure this is a university, there's somebody who can prove it, that we should be eating more like we did in the past. We can do that. There are wild foods that we can gather from our gardens and use. But also you can go into the supermarkets and think like a gatherer. Don't go with a shopping list that says I need four oranges, six eggs and a tomato. Go there and look and say that looks fresh and good. I'm going to have that. And I need some dark greens in my diet now and I have some roots. Some, you know, some vegetables. We can start to do that and I think that is a very wise step forward and may help us with some of the health problems that we face. The bigger issues of agriculture for others to solve. I, um, I think that uh, we've probably worked very hard enough now, um, especially as he's, he's prepared to go and sign copies of these books upstairs in a moment where the bar, uh, you'll be pleased to know, uh, will also be open. Uh, and so I'd just like to close this formal part of the evening by um, inviting us all to show again our appreciation for uh, a wonderfully entertaining, heartfelt and moving performance given with remarkable fluency without any notes whatsoever, I couldn't help noticing, uh, and to uh, ask us all to put our hands together one more time to thank Wayne. Thank you. Thank you.